Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is a basically uh, it's a bubble CDC emerger. It's a hopper pattern. Now, this is a suggestive type pattern that will represent many flies, uh, midge, olives, even uh, some caddis that will represent coming off. This is a full of mill hook. It's, the, it's called the Super Grub, and this is a size 14. It's a strong wee hook, it's a lovely hook, it's really strong. The thread I'm going to be using is a light K-Hull in 8.0. I'm just going to start it off, but I'm going to run the wax through it to get it started. Just start at the, the eye, I lay the thread down the shank. I'm just controlling the turns with the waist piece by keeping it tight. Round the bend to this point here, and then we can remove the waist. I'm using a bleached, this has been bleached, this was a, uh, a light olive which I've bleached uh, to remove the, the hair, well most of the hair of the still, you can see uh, fine fibre right at the very end, which I like and it helps to darken and it gives it a nice bar. Tear one off, now I'm going to tie it in at the bottom here, there's a, I'm tearing it off, you get this wee bit of part of the stem comes away. And we catch this in, and then we show it with the fine hair at the bottom, the darker edge at the bottom. And then what we do is we just work our way up, all the way to the base of the thread. When we stop the thread, it should be in line with the point of the hook, which is there. Now, to protect the quilt, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put down a layer of super glue. This is a fully mill super glue, it comes with a brush. And then we're going to wind over that and that's, that will stick. Now as we bring this round, we want the, the edge, the leading edge to be the, the fine, the dark side of the quill. And the fine hair. As we work, work up, the super glue will stick it. Hold it. To this point here. We may go an extra turn by the point, but it's just to make sure it's tied in. And then trim away the waste. Now we've got two medium sized. For this size of fly, if the larger size you maybe want three of these feathers, but in this size I want two. This is a natural CDC from the mallard, mallard up. Now I want some of the fibres, I need some of these to right and left side of the feather. Now you see there's a natural curve, now I'm going to tie it in with a natural curve, with it kind of up and away. We want to tie it in by the tip, just make sure these are lined up. Just offer the points to yourself, come round with a turn, secure it in and then pull it into the right length. Two or three turns, now we always can go back, we want to make sure we've got a nice shape, nice bubble shape so it's going to trap the fire or trap the hair, uh, basically they, to hold the fly up. So the bubble gets trapped within these fibres and as you pull it, it will pop back up. That's what makes it a great fishing fly. Now we tidy the area up, come back up. Using the CDC, I'm going to use that to separate the knotted pheasant tail legs. Now I'm going to put three either side. So bring them out. I'm going to go for another one, just a wee bit long. These are better. Bring them out, make sure you've got the sixths. Just take your time, select them. What I'm doing is bringing them 90 degrees for the stem and then just slightly pulling them to make sure they're all, there's no broken ones and they're all fine. Tear them away, separate so there's three either side and just use your fingers to hold them apart. Come in, set them on the top. And use, as I say, the CDC to separate them. Just lift it out of the way and see the length that you want. Don't, sh don't be shy. Put the legs, we're putting them on the we'll want to see them. Two or three turns to hold, and again, just check to see where these legs are sitting. You can see there, they're sitting nice, that's fine. Now, what I'm going to do here is put a bit of dubbing. I'm going to put two or three turns in. Now, this dubbing is just some rabbit. And a UV light bright blended, I've put this together. Just wrap it for a wee bit of flash in it. I can use pearl, or in this case, as I say, a UV blue type colour. 
that works extremely well for me. Just tighten up. Be quite loose with it. Now you've got to give yourself plenty of room at the head to tie in the CDC and I'm going to put some deer hair in there as well. So just that looks fine. Just ping off what you don't need and then stroke back any fibres going forward towards the eye. We can lock them back with two or three turns. That's fine. Don't want to overdress this fly at this size. Then we form a bubble. Obviously using the two CDC feathers. Now, um, th these are the fine fibres I pulled out. And you've got some either side. Just gives it a better look. The bubble, looking towards the back of the hook. So we just hold the bubble within our finger and thumb. Nice and tight. Tighten up. Three or four turns in. Just check our length. Be quite look now. I'm just I'd like it just a tad longer than that, so it's quite easy just to go back. Hold the feathers, just push it towards the back. Again, pinch and loop, three or four turns. And then we can move move the fibres about to suit. If you're not happy, you always can you always can go back. Happy with the shape, I'm going to put in a few more turns and then trim away the CDC, the waist. You've got wax on your thread, bring it to the eye. In this case, I'm just going to tidy up the head area. Now we can use a needle just to check if our bubble's okay. Just put it in the centre and then come round. See how it's sitting. That looks okay. See, so I'm going to put some deer hair on top. It's just a row deer. It's quite a dark coloured one. It's a nice, nice colour. Nice hedgehog colour, as I would say. Just pull a few fibres out and cut it close to the skin. Remove the fluff. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack it. So I'm going to put the tips in to the stacker. Tap it on my desk. When the tips are lined up, we can then remove them from the stacker. And then set this. We want this slightly longer than the CDC, so we just slightly by. So we hold the wing with my finger and thumb. And we trim it. Take away the excess. It's much easier to trim it and tie it on the top like that. Now you see these small ends that's fluffed up. Keep it out, don't let the wing go. We can then take the thread into them, nice and tight. Come back up and don't worry about it. We can we're gonna tie this up with some dubbing. Again, just make sure we're fly sitting right before we go any further. And to see about the CDC is sitting okay. There you go. I just caught a couple of fibres there when I tied that in. We'll go back to our dubbing. And we're just gonna dub it in. Just the form and tidy up the head area. So we come up from the, the eye, spalding up, nice head shape, quite loose, and using the thread to basically rib it. Now, as we get near the eye again, so we got and then coming back down, we just stroke back any fibres going forward, Put thread turns in front, just to lock them back. Take your time. I'm going to use some varnish at this point and then just Vanish off, so a bit too much there. Just wet finish. Trim away the waste. There we are. I'll trim away your thread anyway. Just checking my legs where things are sitting. There we are. And that's your emerger. It's a great pattern, so I hope you enjoyed that.